Hey foodies, welcome back to the Foodie Channel, home for food enthusiasts from around the world. By the way, if you're not subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Think about the movie industry before the coronavirus. It was a multi-billion dollar industry. For many, catching the latest blockbuster was a normal part of their routine. How about you? Were you a big movie goer? How many movies did you typically go to in a year? Do you normally catch most of the big summer blockbusters? We know that quite a few of you, our fellow foodies, really enjoy the movie going experience. Many of you enjoyed the concessions. Although you typically pay more for the concessions than your tickets, there is something about the popcorn, soda, or candy. It just tastes better in the movie theater. The trailers. Big moviegoers that watch several movies a year often want to know what's coming up later in the year or next year. Some of you literally get to the theater extra, extra early so that you don't miss a single trailer. Here's a question for our foodies and moviegoers out there. Did you get to the movie theater early to catch all the trailers? Or did you skip them? Tell us in the comments section below. Seeing a movie on opening night, especially with a big crowd. Now we know that some of you hate big crowds, but some of you love it because sharing an experience with hundreds of people is amazing the crowd erupting in laughter simultaneously, or jumping out of their seats at literally the same moment. Heart-pounding jump scares, remember those? Now the movie-going experience isn't dead, but wouldn't you agree it is a bit different now? Many are watching movies from home. Is it possible though to create a special movie-going experience at home? What do you think? We believe so. Now, we're not going to say that it's the same experience as going to the movie theater. Watching a movie at home certainly has its advantages. No one's kicking your seat. No high concession prices. You can start and stop the movie whenever you want. And we believe that you can have a quality movie night all by yourself. There's no need to argue with anyone else over which movie to watch. You pick. It can still be an amazing, satisfying experience. But if you can safely have a movie night with family and friends, then that could be an amazing experience as well. Sharing the experience of a comedy, a thriller, a tearjerker, or a thought-provoking drama that inspires conversation makes movie night truly special. And we mentioned that there's no concession stand at home, so what are you going to do for snacks? There's no doubt that popcorn still reigns as king when it comes to movie night snacks. And hey, you can't go wrong with chips or nachos either. But if you're planning a movie night and you're looking to go a step beyond popcorn and nachos, what are some other ideas? Oh, foodies, we've got you covered. Check out our YouTube channel with step-by-step -step recipes for chicken wings. We show you how to make five flavors. Buffalo, barbecue hot, original hot, sweet and spicy garlic, lemon pepper, the ultimate cheeseburger, mouthwatering, juicy. We'll show you how to make it. And for all of you bacon lovers, why not? Foodies, we warn you, you may never want to go to a fast food restaurant for burgers again. Chicken strips with three homemade dipping sauces. Our step-by-step -step recipe will give you the perfect finger food for your movie night. And the dipping sauces are out of this world. If you're inviting others, be sure to make plenty. So foodies, when is your next movie night? Pick a classic. Enjoy the food. Enjoy the experience. Thanks for watching. Give this video a like and subscribe to join our community of foodies from all over the world at thefoodiechannel.com.